наставништва поради приближување на успешните македонски државјани од диаспората со датковината. Државниот врф од на... Садори, включително и консултација. Зашто так нема конкретен совет? Заштитување само по селебусу и кога има кара... А од друга страна е разпочин. Главен и отговорен уредник. Юдони, но право, право. In the development of this project, I was helped by PCB Way, which is one of the most experienced PCB manufacturing company in China in field of PCB prototype and fabrication. If you want to make your own PCB for this project or for any other electronic project, PCB Way is a great choice. They have a large online community when, where you can find an open source project and you can also share your project there. From my personal experience, I can tell you that on this community you can find many useful projects with already designed PCBs from uh, where you can place an order directly. To make an order for our custom PCB, we need to click on Quote Now. On the right side, you can see the place for ordering the PCBs for selected parameters. And on the left, there are additional options to tweak for your PCBs. So if you want your PCB, just type pcbway.com on your browser. Hello, this time I will present you how to make a simple FM radio with a beautiful retro liner scale. The idea for the project was taken from the Volos Projects channel, where is presented the code that was specially made for the LilyGo TMBET device, which has a TFT screen with a resolution of 320 on 170 pixels. I just adapted the code for the ILI9341 TFT display, which has a resolution of 320 on 240 pixels, powered by a by a standard ESP32 dev kit module. The radio interface is the same and in the remaining part of the screen I added a small clock uh, that shows the time. Actually, as a beginner in programming, I did little practice drawing figures and placing text on the display. The way the, the, way the scale moves is especially effective for me as a big fan of the retro radios. For the FM radio part, the TAA5767 radio module is used, which is characterized by good features and a relatively low price. I was currently using a board without an audio amplifier, although there, are, there is also a board with a built-in stereo amplifier. In that part, I use PAM8304 amplifier module and a custom-made small sound box. Well, as you can see, the device is very simple to build and consists of several components. ESP32 dev kit module, next ILI9341 TFT display, uh, 2.8 inch, uh, next TAA5767 radio module, then Rotary encoder with push button, small D-class amplifier board, and speaker. A few notes about compiling and uploading the code. In order, to, in order for the code to run without errors, you should use the libraries provided with the code as they, are, they have been modified specifically for this project. And now let's see how the device works in reality. The most striking part of the display is the linear scale that moves with the rotation of the rotary encoder. Then in the middle of the display is the selected frequency, uh, the signal straight icon, as well as the stereo reception and mute mark. 
On the upper left part are the frequencies with the names uh, of favorite stations, which for now are just information and could be memorized in a future version of the software. Also, the battery capacity icon is currently not working. In the lower part under the radio, there is a clock uh, that synchronizes with the PC clock when uploading the code. Yeah.